Hey guys, today I would like to share you how to downgrade back from iOS 15 to iOS 14. Uh, for some reason, if you have updated your iPhone into iOS 15 uh, because you want to try the new features and then you want to downgrade back, um, this is a good video for you and you can downgrade without losing any data. Like you can see, this is my iPhone 11 and have updated it into iOS 15 and I have some photo here as well. And now after I downgrade, uh, you will still see the photo inside my camera roll. And um, this is, um, it is on iOS 15, uh, like you can see here. And now let's go ahead and begin with the downgrade process. Okay, now you need to connect your iPhone into your PC. And then you can use the software called iMaster. With this software, it offers you three different options. The first one, um, it allows you to upgrade your iOS version. And then uh, you can downgrade back. And you can even also back up your data uh, from your iPhone into your PC. And then you can restore them back into your phone. But now uh, with this video, we're going to go ahead and uh, downgrade our iPhone back to the previous version. So which means you can downgrade back to iOS 14.6 official without losing any data and now let me go ahead and click on it and then from here there are two choices you can either download the firmware version directly using iMaster or you can also import it from your PC if you have already uh, downloaded the firmware version before and for me I'm gonna go ahead and import the firmware let me go ahead and click on this button and then you need to pick up the firmware version that you have downloaded. So in my case, um, it is my iPhone 11 and you need to select uh, 14.6 and go ahead and click on open. And from here, it is going to extracting the firmware. So make sure on your PC, it need to have at least a 17 gigabyte of free space. All right, now the software has been extracted. All you have to do, just click on start. And one more thing is uh, you need to make sure that your PC is connected to the internet as well uh, while you are doing a downgrade process. And now the downgrade process has completely done. Um, all you have to do is just click on uh, the done button here. And now you should be able to unplug your iPhone and you can wait for the final process. After the Apple logo, you should be able to go back to your iPhone lock screen. You will see that your iPhone has been downgraded. Okay, now my iPhone has been downgraded. So let me go ahead and go into setting. And now let me go to general and about. Uh, you can see uh, my iPhone is on 14.6 and let's take a look on the photo inside my camera roll and you can still see they are all here um, thanks for watching I hope you like this video then I will see you guys in the next one